Yeah. I'm sorry? Uh, okay. Okay, Paige, thank you. Um, we're on page 596. And we're doing problem number 1, A, B, C, and D. Are you able to get out of my shadow? Okay. Now, in A, what we're doing is... Quiet, please. We've got magnesium with nitric acid, HNO3. They're, they would really weren't interested in your doing a back and forth on this or an acid base with this. What they wanted you to do with this, what they were, were looking for in this, is what happens when you mix an acid with a metal. And this goes for the first two. Okay, so this is with aluminum, and they're using a different acid. This one is sulfuric acid. Okay? And we're going to see what happens on the other side. So here, you might want to mark this into your homework page. This is a metal plus an acid. Okay, these first two. Raise your hand if you have any problem with understanding that aluminum is a metal. I'm serious. Okay. Most of the elements on the periodic chart are metals, everything below the stair step. So what they're saying is any of these metals mixed with an acid is always going to give you the same kind of result. And that result is that there is going to be a change where magnesium is going to become an ion. What's the charge on magnesium as an ion? Plus what? Two. Plus two, because he's in column two. Okay? So on column two, we see that magnesium is going to be a two plus. So when I mix him with the nitrate ion, which is a one minus, I got to have two of those guys. So we're always going to take the negative part of the acid the negative ion, okay, the cat is the plus, so the cat, so the anion is the negative ion, and then we're also going to have this little situation where we get hydrogen gas, and that's how that's always going to go. You're always going to get hydrogen gas. So aluminum is going to go with whom? Sulfate. The sulfate, the negative part. Now, this guy is a two minus ion. This guy is a 3 plus. So I use the charge on this for my subscript on aluminum and the charge from aluminum for the subscript. Whoops. This guy's a 2 and this guy's a 3. Subscript 3. Now, what else am I going to get? It's a metal with an acid. Going to be hydrogen. Okay? We're always going to get hydrogen. John? H2? This two? In front of what? The parenthesis. The parenthesis. That, this? This is a three. Okay, the three comes from the charge of the aluminum. Charge on aluminum. Aluminum is in column three on the chart. Right? Remember that? Column one is one, column two is two, column three is three. Yeah. Did you have like a worksheet that said which column is which charge? Sure did. Back in the first semester. First yeah, and you should still have that in your miscellaneous. Okay. The, remember the memorize ion stuff? Memorize ions. That's what it's all about. And that will be on the website under standard forms. Okay? Standard forms and charts. So, we're always going to produce hydrogen. Hydrogen gas. All right? That was both of the first two answers there. Okay? Now, we are going to do calcium. This time we're dealing with carbonates. Carbonates mixed with hydrobromic acid. That's HBr. Okay, that's going to give us calcium. Who's going to go with calcium? 
The Br, yeah. So we're going to have two bromides because calcium is a 2 plus. And bromide is in column 17. And in column 17, or 7, those guys are always going to be a 1 minus. So I need two of these to go with one of these. Now, the next thing we're going to get, the gas is different this time. And we're going to produce water as a liquid. And it's not going to affect the equilibrium. So we get this essentially soda pop, you yeah? know, kind of like soda pop. Carbonate is dissolved in water. You'll have uh, CO2 in water is going to form a carbonate. And as soon as you jiggle that stuff, it's going to go back to CO2. It doesn't take much because this stuff does not like to be in water. And so it's, it's easy to get it into the gas phase. And so we get CO2 as a gas when we mix it with hydrogen, bro uh, hydrogen bromide or hydrobromic acid. Now, we've got another carbonate here. This is baking soda. Hydrogen, yeah, potassium hydrogen. Potassium hydrogen carbonate. And this is going to get mixed with the acid that we call hydrochloric acid. And now, what are we going to get? Where's the metal? Um, Potassium's the metal. So who's potassium going to be with? Chloride, you bet. The chloride. And potassium's in column one, so he's a one plus, and chloride is a one minus. And what else are we going to get? Same stuff. CO2. CO2 and water again. And this guy's a liquid, and there we are. Now, this is a metal. Uh, this is a carbonate. So now we have a carbonate plus an acid are going to give us CO2 gas, CO2 gas. Metal with an acid going to give us hydrogen gas every time. Okay, yes? So from CO3 to get CO2, is that how did you get CO2 to CO2? The, the oxygen went with the hydrogen over here in the water. Okay. So we, we got... Um, we got the, the CO2 gas, and we're, it's going to give off an extra oxygen, and that oxygen is going to go with the hydrogen from the hydrogen carbonate. Okay? And so you're going to have more of this stuff, and yeah, it'll work out. Yeah. All right? Yes? Nope. No hydroxide. I understand that. I haven't balanced the equation. Okay? So when you balance it out, it will work. And you'll see an example of that on the uh, page 596. Okay? They did hydrogen carbonate with acetic acid this time. And you get sodium acetate and liquid, uh, liquid water and CO2. Exactly the same deal. And here was the, here's the example of the metal with the acid, and that's producing the hydrogen. Okay? All right. Let's go on. And we need to get into tonight's homework, very much so. Uh, tonight's homework, you're doing page 601, and we are doing the ionization of acids. Okay? So... This is going to be number three. Should we stop it and get another video? One minute. Yeah, let's stop.